A show with commonality Crafted by us Where ideas become reality Crafted by us Just grab this opportunity In this community Crafted by us Yeah, in this community Crafted by us Hi, welcome to this episode of Crafted by Us. I'm your host, Michelle Johnson, and today I'm going to share with you a super simple way to make felt. To make felt today, you're going to need some saran wrap, um, a bottle of water, a nylon stocking, I'm using the leg off of pantyhose, and of course some fiber. Pick whatever you want, give it a try, and see what happens. So I'm not exaggerating when I say that this is the absolute easiest way there is to create felt. Um, I forgot to tell you that you're going to need a, a dryer, okay? <laughs> Sorry about that. You have to use a clothes dryer for this. Okay, so grab a piece of um, saran wrap, just like this, and I'm just doing a small piece just to show you. You could do it as large as you wanted, just to overlap your saran wrap. And then grab some fiber, okay? And what I like to do is lay out chunks this direction, and then I'm gonna uh, get that wet, and I'm gonna lay out chunks this direction, get it wet, and then go one more time. Now, you can do it either uh, two times or three times. Two times is gonna be a little bit softer, a little bit less sturdy, and then three times is um, gonna be sturdier, okay? So I find if I, if, if I know I'm gonna be using the fiber as a foundation, for something else that I want to build on, I might just do two. So basically, you're just going to grab your fiber, spread it out just kind of like this, and you don't want it too thick, okay? We, I kind of want it whispery, whispery, wispy, wispy, okay? And just kind of lay it out in little sections just like this. This stuff is just fabulous to work with. I'm, t I'm not exaggerating here. And um, no, I don't get any special breaks from cross patch creations, although I wish I did, because I, um, I do love their stuff a lot. Okay. So I'm gonna be mixing two. I'm gonna use this and then a different fiber. All right. Now you could spend a little bit more time spreading this out. Um, if you want to. There's my first layer. Now I want to make sure I don't have any fiber laying around here because now I'm going to start spraying some water. Okay, hold on. It helps to have a spray bottle that works. Let's try this one. Here we go. So I don't have any soap in here. I don't have any special, you know, olive oil, olive soy, soap, whatever. Just water. See, I, I, I got to thinking about how could I make some felt without having to do a bunch of rubbing and rolling and stuff because my shoulders and hands can't take all that constant motion. And so I gave this a shot one day after thinking about it for a long, long time. And, um, have been pretty successful. All right, so that's it. I'm just getting it wet so that it kind of is soaked down in there. And now I think I have a mixture of green fiber. And I'm going to, I have this. It is, um, I think it's merino and it's got a little silk in it. So you can see it's kind of matted up a little bit. It's all right, I'm just gonna kind of pull chunks off of here. <laughs> it's a good way to use up your stash two. There we go. So now I'm just going to lay this in the other direction. And you can see it's a little different than the other stuff I was using. So um, just work with it just a little bit differently. Spreading it out. And I'm going to go in this direction now. Okay. And I'm going to work my way across. This stuff is like half felted already. That's what happens when you leave your stuff <laughs> wadded up in a ball in a pile of fiber. There we go.
Okay, so I have my second layer of fiber, and I want this to be pretty thin, but I also want to be able to see some of this color from underneath. I'm going to grab just another hunk of this stuff and just randomly place it. Oh, wait, hold on. I always do this. I for you know, if you forget to spray your water, it's all right. You can do it all at once at the end, but I just think it's easier to, uh, to do it as you go. That way you um, are sure that your fiber is all wet all the way through. And no, I, I don't think you can have too much water, okay? Um, I did this the other day with my grandma and I kept having to tell her, add more, add more. Alrighty. Now let's add some of this. I'm gonna just go in the opposite direction. Now if you were doing like a picture or something like that, you could you know, um, put little circles in and you could kind of paint with your fiber if you wanted to. I'm just throwing this on here. Okay. I'm gonna grab a little more. All right, and then I need to add some more water. So once I have this all ready to go, I'm gonna throw it in the dryer and I'm gonna use the dryer um, to help me felt it instead of the motion of rubbing my hands over it. Now I'm just gonna put it in the dryer for 15 minutes and um, I am always sure to set my timer on my um, clock so that I don't leave the fiber in there forever and melt the saran wrap. I've never had saran wrap melt in my dryer. I'll just say that. But um, it's up to you to make sure you don't do that. All right, so here you can see the ends are just kind of not even. I'm just gonna tuck those in just like this. Easy enough, right? And you can see this is stopping wet. It's all right. There we go. Now, um, since the saran wrap is clear, you can't see this, but I have an edge that's free of fiber all the way around. And I do that so when I put my, I'm gonna put another sheet of saran wrap over the top and I kinda want it to stick together. And I'll show you what I mean here. So just like this, right over the top, we're kinda just making like a sandwich. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just gonna go over the, seal the edges in like this. And then I'm gonna press with my hands and see how this fiber starts to soak up that water we just uh, squirted. You want it to be all soppy and soaky, okay? If, um, if it's not, you can easily pick up the, the saran wrap here and spray some more water if you need to, okay? So um, that looks pretty good. Now, I just want to roll this up like a jelly roll. So I'm gonna start at one end and kind of roll it up. And as I go, I'm gonna kind of press it um, to help make sure that that liquid that's in there is getting all the way to the back side. Cause you'll be able to see as you roll the back side here and you'll see if there's some dry spots. Okay. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of water. So I'm doing this in my kitchen counter um, cause there is a lot of water. And so there you go. We have a roll and then I just like to throw it in my pantyhose here, just like this. Give it a nice uh, gentle tie because we're gonna untie this, not too tight. And then throw this in the dryer for 15 minutes. Okay, so I have my nylon stocking here. It's just come out of the dryer. And let's see what we've got. Now, I actually left it in a little bit longer because when I went to pull it out, it was kind of stuck to the top because it was so wet. So I don't think it was actually rolling as much as it should have been. So I left it in longer. Um, so, bit of a mystery what happened, what is going on here. All right. So you can see it's kind of shrunk up inside here. And now I just need to get my um, saran wrap, find the end, and just start unrolling it. It's really pretty wet still. Okay. Now, um, here's kind of what I've thought about this. See how it's a little bit uneven? 
Um, I think that you could, a person could, if they wanted to, take this um, out and then roll it the other direction, let's say like this, okay? And throw it back in the dryer if you wanted to, okay? But here we go, here's a great piece of felt. Now it's still pretty uh, wet. And um, if you know me, I like to speed things up a little bit. So at this point, I would throw this back in the dryer just to dry it a little bit, make sure it's not rubbing against itself and felting. Um, and then I might even iron it, but how, how great is that? I hope you've enjoyed today's show. Remember, if you have questions about what we've done, about the materials, those types of things, I uh, write up a quick notes about each episode and I post them on my website at craftedby.us so you can go there and get more information if you'd like. And also remember, if you um, like the show and you uh, don't subscribe, you can subscribe through iTunes just by going to the iTunes store and searching for my show there. So thanks everyone for joining me and I hope to that you join me <laughs> another day. Goodbye. Crafted by us, a show with commonality. Crafted by us, where ideas become reality. Crafted by us, just grab this opportunity in this community. Crafted by us, yeah, in this community. Crafted by us.